Sensor calibration complete. Autonomous soccer mode. Start soccer demonstration. Yes, go. Clap, please. This year, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's Robotics Challenge took place at the Homestead Miami Speedway in South Florida. This event is the first of two competitions sponsored by the Pentagon's Blue Sky Research Agency. In an effort to accelerate the design of robots that can work in disaster situations otherwise inaccessible to humans. This is Wildcat, a robotic pack animal that was designed for the U.S. military by Boston Dynamics, a research and engineering firm recently acquired by Google. Although it was a fan favorite, this was just a demo, and Wildcat was not one of the robots that was actually competing in the trials. The robots that competed here on Friday and Saturday moved much slower. They performed a series of tasks that required dexterity, precision, and balance, and most of all, patience. Sixteen teams competed at eight tasks that included things like climbing a ladder, driving a vehicle, opening a door, and walking through rubble on an uneven terrain. They did things that humans do with ease and without much thought, but for the robots, these tasks still require quite a bit of labor and time. The hope, DARPA says, is progress, that a year from now the competitors will be much faster and more capable of completing each task. The best robot at the final competition next December will win a $2 million prize. At this point in time, the robots are not autonomous which means that their movement is controlled by human operators that are seated at remote consoles. In the future, DARPA believes that robots won't displace humans, but instead that humans and robots will become collaborators. And in some cases, the collaboration will be very close. <laughs>